good afternoon let us start with today's session okay so let us start with the questions again i want your attention as i already told that if you make one mistake or let us say two mistakes one will be the arrival time and one will be the service time if you make the mistake in fetching this two data the entire problem will go wrong you will be getting zero instead of 10 and if you get it correctly there is 99% chance that you will get full 10 marks because rest all is just application of formula okay so let us start with the question when airlines let us say i have named it com air has one reservation clerk on duty in its local branch at any given time okay the clerk handles information regarding passenger reservation and flight timings okay wo kuch to handle kar raha hai regarding reservation and flight timings assume that the number of customers this is the important thing assume that the number of customers arriving arriving so what will be there arriving ke liye kya use karenge hum log lambda lambda okay so arriving ke bare mein baat ho rahi hai to we will be using lambda arriving during any given period is poisson distribution which we have already seen it will be poissonly distributed with an arrival rate arrival rate of 8 per hour so already we are given 8 per hour so can i write lambda is equal to 8 directly likh sakta hu main lambda is equal to 8 so lambda is equal to 8 because directly humko bol diya hai 8 per hour aur humko lambda bhi humko answer mein chahiye per hour aur main yahan likhna bhul gaya it will be 8 per hour so the entire unit will be lambda is equal to 8 per hour then okay let us go further and the reservation clerk can serve a customer uska service time kya dekho can serve a customer in 6 minutes on an average so can i write mu is equal to 6 yes sir yes no, sir. okay those who have given answers as yes are wrong dekho maine pehle hi bataya what should be the unit unit should be per hour how many customers are served per hour and here it is given in 6 minutes on an average so first of all yahan se dekh ke hi malum pad ja raha hai yahan minute diya hai humko hours mein chahiye so you cannot write directly mu is equal to 6 ab thoda sa sochenge iske bare mein kya ho sakta hai dekho ab logically bata main kya bataya aap logo what you what i explained about lambda and mu lambda is how many customers what is lambda how many customers arrive per hour जैसे कि लेटर लेटेस्ट से 11 से 12, 11 से 12 के बीच में एवरेज 8 परसेंट आ रहे हैं ठीक है 12 से 1 के बीच में एवरेज 8 परसेंट आ रहे हैं 8 परसन ओके सो दैट इज द रेट ऑफ अराइवल एंड व्हाट इज द रेट ऑफ सर्विस व्हाट आई टोल्ड इट इज हाउ मेनी ऑफ देम आर सर्व्ड पर आवर कितने लोग को सर्विस मिल गई एक घंटे में ठीक है तो अब यहाँ पर क्या बोल रहा है रिजर्वेशन क्लर्क सर्व अ कस्टमर एक कस्टमर को सर्व करने के लिए उसको सिक्स मिनट्स लग रहे ओके One customer is served in six minutes. So, how many customers he can serve in one hour? Ten. 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 So that will be my mu. So I will write mu is equal to ten per hour. So this will become my service rate. So now, any doubts in lambda and mu? This was the important thing which I want to explain. Lambda or mu? Me, कुछ doubt है किसी को? No doubt. Okay. चलो आगे जाएंगे. No, no sir. So solution. Lambda is eight per hour. Already दिया था. Service rate मैंने निकाल लिया ten per hour. and what we are required to find okay chalo ye bhi important hai pehle aapko ye samajhna chahiye ki find karna kya hai okay let us go for the question what is the probability that the system is busy so what i need to find out time utilization factor yes it will be a utilization factor kitna time wo service utilized hai aur idle puchega to humne wo bhi discuss kiya agar idle puchega to it will be 1 minus server is busy so here i want to find out the traffic intensity or utilization factor that is rho और उसका फॉर्मूला शायद लेमडा बाई न्यू है वो आप लोग चेक कर लो ओके नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज द एवरेज टाइम अ कस्टमर स्पेंड्स इन द सिस्टम सो व्हाट आई विल राइट इयर व्हाट आई नीड टू फाइंड पहली बात तो टाइम पूछा है और सिस्टम पूछा है सो व्हाट आई विल राइट इयर व्हाट आई नीड टू फाइंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ नोटेशन डब्ल्यू एस यस इट विल बी डब्ल्यू एस टाइम पूछा है मतलब वेटिंग टाइम और सिस्टम पूछा है इसलिए एस सो इट विल बी डब्ल्यू एस नाउ नेक्स्ट वॉट इज एवरेज लेंथ ऑफ Q simple puch hai length of Q so it will be length of Q LQ and last is and what is the number of customers number number matlab fir se length pucha hai of customers in the system so what i will write here LS okay so we need to find out as i have written we need to find out lambda WS LQ and LS so just if you find out lambda and mu and you just uh, 
scratch out what is required to be found out now it is becoming very easy all the formulas i have given to you so let us go one by one the first formula is utilization factor that is rho so it is lambda by mu you have the value of lambda as 8 you have the value of mu as 6 so it will be uh, lambda sorry you have lambda as uh, mu as 10 so it will be 8 by 10 you can also write 0.8 okay so now let me add one more question from my side so let us say if utilization factor is 0.8 what is the probability that the system is idle this is question from my side addition 0.2 yes it's very simple it will be 0.2 okay again i will repeat this step utilization factor means what how many times how many how many time the system will be busy so it is giving me that 80% of time 0.8 means 80% it is giving me the answer that 80% of time the system will be busy so how many time the system will be idle it will be 100 minus 80 that is 20% or it can, i can write it 0.2 so anywhere you can do and you will get the same answer 0.2 or you will get 20% second second thing asked was the average number of customers in the queue okay so it will be ls is equal to lambda upon mu minus lambda again lambda you have mu you have so just i will substitute and get the answer that length of the system will be 4 now length of the system means the persons who are waiting in the queue plus the number of customers who are getting the service the third thing is average time a customer spends in the system system means ws so ws formula is 1 upon mu minus lambda so it will be 1 upon 10 minus 8 and it will be 0.5 hours Okay, because it is waiting time. Time will be always in hours because we have used the lambda value in hours per hour. Next, the last thing was average time of uh, number of customers in the queue. Number of customers means LQ. LQ formula is LS into lambda by mu. Formula will be four into zero point eight, and that will answer will be three point two. So again, अभी मैं वो कोई पूछेगा सर length of queue three point two कैसे हो सकता है? या तो तीन बंदे होंगे या तो चार बंदे होंगे थ्री पॉइंट टू कैसे हो सकता है सो यर अगेन यू एम्फोसाइज ऑन द वर्ड एवरेज आई हैव टेकन द एवरेज ऑफ ऑल द क्यू एट ऑफ ऑल द लेंथ ऑफ द क्यूज एट दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइम दैट्स वाई इट इज कमिंग इन डेसिमल्स ओके एनी डाउट्स इन सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम सो इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग वॉज टू फेच द वैल्यू ऑफ लेमड़ा एंड फेच द वैल्यू ऑफ म्यू एंड कन्वर्ट इट इन टू प्रॉपर यूनिट एल मार्ट हैज अ सिंगल कैशियर During the peak hour, customer arrives again. Again, this is the important thing. Jokes apart. During the peak hours, customer arrive at a rate of twenty customers per hour. So, what can you write about this data in terms of notations? What should I write? Lambda. Lambda is twenty. So, customer arrive. Bol diya hai. Matlab lambda aega twenty per hour bhi bol diya hai. So, no issues. Directly, I will write lambda is equal to twenty per hour. Okay. The average number of customers. That can be processed. Process मतलब उसको मशीन में डाल के प्रोसेस नहीं करेगा आगे लिखा है प्रोसेस्ड बाय द कैशियर दैट मीन्स ही विल बी गिविंग द सर्विस इज ट्वेंटी फोर पर आवर सो एनी कैलकुलेशन और एनी कन्वर्जन आई रिक्वायर हियर बिकॉज डायरेक्टली इट इज गिवन पर आवर सो एंड इट इज सर्विस प्रोसेस्ड बाय द कैशियर दैट मीन्स इट इज अर्विस रेट सो आई विल डायरेक्टली राइट म्यू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर पर आवर सो दिस वॉज अ स्ट्रेट क्वेश्चन Wherein there is no conversion of data is required. So as we have discussed, we will write lambda is equal to twenty per hour, and we will write mu is equal to how much twenty four per hour. Okay. Then, क्या क्या find करना है? Probably that system or the cashier is idle. So what we need to find? Give me in terms of notation. Here idle. P not. P not. Yes. The average number of customers in the queuing system. क्या आएगा? Average number. Number आ गया मतलब क्या हो गया वो? नंबर मींस और यहाँ पर क्यूंग सिस्टम बोल दिया है सो इट विल बी एल एस ओके नेक्स्ट एवरेज टाइम टाइम बोल दिया है मतलब वेटिंग टाइम अब कस्टमर स्पेंड इन दिस्टम डब्ल्यू एस एवरेज नंबर ऑफ कस्टमर नंबर आ गया मतलब कुछ तो एल में आया एंड कस्टमर इन द क्यू बोल दिया तो एल क्यू देन एवरेज टाइम अ कस्टमर स्पेंड इन द क्यू वेटिंग फॉर सर्विस वेटिंग फॉर सर्विस मतलब क्या हो डब्ल्यू क्यू वेटिंग फॉर सर्विस मतलब अभी भी लाइन में लगा हुआ है दैट्स वाई इट इज डब्ल्यू क्यू ओके सो प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर विद द सोल्यूशन 
arrival rate 20 per hour service rate 24 hour per hour and we have to find out this five things p0 lq ws ls and wq okay let us go one by one now it's very simple problem just you need to apply the formula okay so to find out idle time okay to find out idle time we cannot go directly first we need to find out what is utilization factor so utilization factor is lambda by mu lambda we have 20 mu we have 24 so i will get that answer as how much we are getting 0 0.833 so 0 0.833 means 83.3 percent of time the system will be busy so how much time it will be idle it will be simple 1 minus 0 0.83 that means 0 0.17 that means 17 percent of time the cashier will be idle so you are getting 0 0.16667 exactly okay. second thing which was asked in the question was average number of customers in the queuing system so number of customers in the queuing system will be ls lambda upon mu minus lambda so it will be 20 upon 24 minus 20 answer will be 5 20 upon 4 20 upon 4 yes it is 5 correct then next average time of customer spends in the system so it is ws ws is equal to 1 upon 24 minus 20 so it will be 0 0.25 hours because it is a time and we have taken all the time in hours that's why it is 0 0.25 hours next average number of customers in the queue so it will be lq is equal to ls multiplied by lambda by mu so that will be 5 multiplied by 0 0.8333 and the answer which I will get is 4.166. So at any point of time, the average number of customers in the queue will be 4.166. And the last one is average time a customer spends in the queue waiting for service. Ruka hai line mein. So that will be WQ. So WQ formula is WS into lambda by mu. So that will be 0 0.25 okay ws and lambda by mu we have already found out 0 0.833 so answer on calculating i will get 0 0.208 hours okay and this completes the problem worth 10 marks